Okay, I just saw the UPS man drive up. Is my M2 here? Is it here? Or is this, am I just overly anxious? Okay, we're gonna see. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they are here, both of them at the same time. I ordered them on different dates and they were probably about a day apart from arriving. And I believe the first one, the Sire M2 was delayed due to weather. So it ended, they ended up both being on my porch at the exact same time. This is so exciting. Let's check it out. I have to open my door. Here we go. They're both here. Wow. I wonder if they were delivered by two different UPS men or they came on the same truck. Doesn't matter. They're here. I'm gonna show you the rest of the unboxing when I get them inside. See you in a minute. It's a little hard to contain myself. I have two brand new Sire bases. The M2 and the V3 came at the same time. I didn't plan it this way, but it happened. Um, so I ordered them separately. I sold some bases to pay for the V3 and got the, the M2 through PayPal credit, which I'll be able to pay back on, you know, through overtime. So it's worked out. Uh, I was cleaning houses on some bases and I wanted to get some solid stuff in here to have, you know, for, uh, the different purposes and different sounds. All right, so we're going to unbox these at some point and um, share it with you. Thank you. Okay, well, it looks like these boxes coming from Sire are a little different now. Uh, or maybe it's the same, and maybe I'm hallucinating. I'm not sure, but I'm not hallucinating. Uh, let me just make that clear. But um, it looks like um, I'm sure that triangle-shaped box is on the inside of this box. And it just looks a little different to me, uh, different from what I remember from ordering from Sire before. All right, we're going to try to open it up and actually see what's going on. Okay, Let's see what we have inside the box. All right, not even sure where to start here. Open it up and hopefully we won't stick ourselves with these industrial sized staples. I'll do well not to rip any skin off, I hope. But we gotta thank Sire for such great protection of the instrument while it shipped. And as I thought, the triangle shaped box is on the inside here. See if I can get it pulled out. Okay. And here it is. It always seems like this box is so much smaller than what the actual base is once you pull it out, but uh, evidently it is big enough to ship it in. Put that aside. So it looks like the my last V3, the case, the base was actually inside the case. They shipped the case right beside the guitar this time. I guess they packed it a little differently. It's okay, sorry. It's still good. Put that over here. Do you have anything else in the box? Nope. We'll keep this box in case I need to ship a guitar somewhere. Okay, let's put this aside. Okay, let's see. The case is up first, so let's go ahead and take it, take it out. I, and I will say I do love what they did 
with the case versus what when I first got my first um, M7, the cases have improved. These big zippers. You can see these, these large zippers. I like those. Those are great. And it just looks like it improved all the way around, even the straps. I'm, I don't, I'm not even sure the straps are exactly the same as the ones I had before, but um, I love this case. $50 for this case, and this is most certainly a $100 case, at least. All right, let's put this aside. That right there. Trash. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Yep, more of these industrial size staplers. We have tape to cut. We have a tape cutting apparatus. Let's see if we can get this going. <clears throat> there we go. Easy peasy. All right, now all we have to do is worry, worry about staplers, staples. Oh, there we go. It came off pretty easily. Let's set that over here. Okay, yeah, this is definitely new. Uh, before, I don't think they had when I last ordered. You know. Or within the last few months or the last year or whatever, you may have had this bubble wrap. This is bubble wrap. Okay. And of course, oh, and it's started putting the tools on the outside. I used to put them in the pocket. <laughs> Here we go. My very first one, I had these tools in the in the pocket of the case, and that shirt came with it. Thank you, sir. Too small for me to wear. Thank you anyway. Put tools over here. And I call this the mummy wrap. The shroud of the base. Let's see if we can actually get this off without too much trouble. Should probably. My, this I don't need to keep, so probably just tear this and my goodness just the first reveal on that maple fretboard yes sir oh my god look at that headstock if the rest of that body looks like this headstock this thing is is going to be absolutely stunningly beautiful oh my goodness is it ever Oh my gosh, please take a look at this. This is the whole thing. Complete with Cyrus warranty with words too small to read. And they're, they're telling us actually which strings are on here now. I think when I bought my M7, I had to guess. So, but I knew because of the colored ends and because I used to use Diodarios about a hundred years ago that those were Diodarios. So, oh my gosh. This base is amazing looking. There you go. That's the back. And here's the one of the changes for the second gen. This is the, uh, where they put the wooden plate instead of the two plastic battery doors um, I'm not sure how I feel about that but anyway because it was much easier to pop batteries in and out with this is you're going to be requ required to take a screwdriver with you when you need to pop this out if you're on a gig so a little extra work there but one of the changes also is the rolled edges and boy this thing feels like butter haven't played it yet, but this roll edges makes the difference. Oh my gosh, yes, and I haven't even put my hands on it. And actually, the setup, not so bad. I don't think I'll have to do minimal tweaking on this to get it to go. That will be the next video, but here we go. You know, the regular controls, the 
preamp that comes with all the Marcus Millisire bases. Now again, we have the master, uh, master volume, master tone. Um, we have the pickup blend, where you can pan between this pickup and this pickup. You have the treble boost cut. You have the the mid boost cut and the mid sweep or frequency selector. Um, and here you have the bass boost and cut. And this is active passive. And the difference um, we know between the M2 and my M7 over there is that the M7 has switches that can has coil taps and different spots on each one of these pickups so you can have a thousand sounds coming out of it. But that doesn't matter as long as I got one really great sound coming out of this one. I think I'll love this one. And the one thing I really, really love about this is that underneath this, I think this color is called transparent blue, is this mahogany. And they let a piece of the mahogany show right here, which is awesome. I love that effect. And then of course we have a maple neck and a maple fretboard. I haven't, I haven't had a maple fretboard in a very long time. So anyway, that is the unboxing of the Sire Marcus Miller M2. And um, there'll be a sound se sample coming really soon and I may go more through the features of this bass at that point. Um, but until then, Thank you. Okay, here's the second one. This is my Sire Marcus Miller V3 second generation. I just previously recorded something with my Sire Marcus Miller M2 second generation uh, where I did the unboxing. I'm gonna do the unboxing of this one. And like I said, these both came on the exact same day. I expected them to come at least a day apart, but here we are. So we're going to open these up. I'm gonna open this one up for sure. I've already opened the other one. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna unbox the, the Sire Marcus Miller V3 second generation. All right, let's go let's see if we can get Past these industrial staplers. I think this is on the wrong side. All right, let's see if we can get these open without injury. Okay, okay here's the case. This one came a little different from the, the M2. The M2 case actually came with plastic around it. So, and the bag is slightly different. It looks like the handles on this bag are not quite the same as the ones on the M2 bag, but it's still one of these really good bags. Got the big zippers on it. Pretty much the standard Marcus Miller bag. The exception of those straps. Okay, let's see if we can get the rest of this out. Easy peasy. Came right out. Alright, let's see if we can get rid of this giant box for a second. Okay, here we go. This is the base with the base case. Let's get my tape cutting apparatus once again. And we're gonna... That was no problem, no sweat. The box comes right off. Top comes right off. That over here. Bubble wrap again, here we go. I like what they're doing now with the shipping of these bases. Protect them. 
tools. What is this writing? There's writing on here. Wish I had my glasses, but oh, this is actually I see the ma the mahogany designation on here. Maybe that's the serial number or some shit, uh, some warehouse designation. I don't know. There's some other some other uh, hieroglyphs on here. All right, let's go ahead and rip this off. Oh yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. Oh yeah, this is my last V3 was actually my workhorse. It's the one I played all the time. So here we go. Here is the one that I bought as a replacement for my first gen. This is the second generation. I had heard so many good things about it and heard a few clips audio clips and it really sounded really really good i had the tobacco sunburst before but now i have the mahogany i just i honestly always kind of wanted this color once i got the tobacco sun, sunburst which was beautiful i realized i probably should have ordered this mahogany this dark red i really like this color and it's really really beautiful all right here we go the standard sire no can read warranty unless i have my glasses um dia dario once again okay this one has a little extra second gen kind of thing going on on it and you know what we get with second gen you get the rolled edges things feels like butter <laughs> it does. Feels like butter. Alright, we got um, the protection for the knobs. I like that they do this. It's probably a good idea because these knobs are not metal. They do the job, but I'm pretty sure it's protecting that as well as protecting this, this very small switch. This is very good. I'm going to get a little close up to it. See new series of pickups for the V3. They're different from the old ones. Same preamp as all the other bases, but we have master volume, master tone underneath on this concentric pot, a concentric knob setup. We have a pickup blend where you can actually go forward for the neck pickup and back for the uh, bridge pickup and we have treble boost cut this is mid uh, mid mid range boost cut and the mid range sweep below it or mid range frequency selector and then we have bass boost cut and switch for active passive um, steel bridge this is very nice rosewood fretboard Give me that warmth I need. This mahogany body is already going to give me nice cut through mid mids and big bottom that I need. We got the holes through the body. And this is one of the differences in the second gen. We have the wooden plate rather than the, the plastic, I guess, pop-up covers. Kind of like those, to be honest. Uh, we have the maple neck. That's nice grain on that neck. Because you can't see that. And we have, this is the fretboard and the headstock. And she looks great, man. We'll get a sound sample going and I'll, I'll get it out and um, see how it sounds. We're going to go get set up tomorrow. My, my favorite tech in the entire, entire world. His name is Aaron Robbins at Savior Guitars. And he works out of Haggard Studios here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, and he is the bomb. He's good. He's great. All right. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next video.